Ukrainian aviation expert Anatoly Krapchinsky believes that Russia is hiding some weapons production facilities at civilian airports. When we discuss strikes on Russia's production sites, we need to consider places like Tactical Missiles Corporation in Korolyov near Moscow, which makes KH-101 and KH-555 missiles, as well as UMPK modules. There's also Arsenal 53 and the Sverdlov plant, which was recently hit by Ukrainian forces. However, we must recognize that Russia may be concealing some production facilities in civilian cities, even using regular civilian airports he said on Espresso TV. Anatoly Krapchinsky pointed out that this conclusion comes from the locations where Iranian planes have delivered weapons components. Why do we think this? Because we can see where Iranian planes are unloading their cargo. They have flown directly to places like Kazan to unload, but they don't. We need to understand that Russia is using some civilian sites to produce the drones that are launched into Ukraine every night. This is happening in both the Moscow region and the Leningrad region, the aviation expert explained. Despite being limited to the use of long-range kamikaze drones, one method employed by Kiev has scored some spectacular success in recent weeks. One of the largest explosions of the full-scale invasion saw, in the words of a security service of Ukraine source, an ammunition warehouse literally wiped off the face of the earth in Tver Oblast last month. This came just days after Ukraine confirmed attacks on two other arms depots, with the UK Defence Ministry saying the combined strikes caused the largest loss of ammunition in Russia during its all-out war against Ukraine. While the destruction of Russia's crews and ballistic missiles by Ukrainian drones seems an obvious target for Kyiv's military planners, more recent strikes show the campaign is far broader. It now includes ethanol distilleries producing industrial alcohol. Russian military aviation cannot function without alcohol. Andriy Kovalenko, head of the Counter-Disinformation Department of Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council, said in a post on social media, as well as the strikes on ammunition depots, Ukraine has continued to target Russian factories, most recently the Kremny L microelectronics plant in the Russian city of Bryansk. When you target an adversary's capabilities, there are always two ways of doing it. You either target the capabilities themselves, like the missile storage sites, the aircraft that carry them, etc. Or you can target production. Fabian Hinz, a research fellow for defense and military analysis at the International Institute for Strategic Studies, told. Monstrous flash floods that claimed at least 95 lives in Spain left scenes of devastation in Valencia on Thursday, with wrecked cars and trucks piled up along the highways of the Mediterranean city. The death toll could rise as search efforts continue with an unknown number of people still missing. Walls of rushing water turned narrow streets into death traps and spawned rivers that ripped into the ground floors of homes and swept away cars, people and anything else in its path. Thousands of people were left without water and electricity and hundreds were stranded after their cars were wrecked or roads were blocked. The region remained partly isolated with several roads cut off and train lines interrupted, including the high-speed service to Madrid, which officials say won't be repaired for several days. While Valencia took the brunt of the storm, another two casualties were reported in the neighboring Castilla-La Mancha region. Southern Andalusia reported one death. Valencia's regional government is being criticized for not sending out flood warnings to people's mobile phones until 8 p.m. on Tuesday, when the flooding had already started in some parts. Spain's Mediterranean coast is used to autumn storms that can cause flooding. But this was the most powerful flash flood event in recent memory. Scientists link it to climate change, which is also behind increasingly high temperatures and droughts in Spain and the heating up of the Mediterranean Sea.
Pues desde las ocho y media hasta las seis de la mañana. Y se llevaron primero los bomberos cuando pudieron entrar, se llevaron a la gente mayor y después eh, yo, como en Valencia no hacía nada que soy de Alcácer, me vine por aquí, intenté rescatar a la gente que había chillando, había gente chillando por todos lados, atrapada. Vimos, vimos muertos pasar. Oye, 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 no. Estaba la persona, estaba pasando... No contestaba. Mal, mal. Big current and carros swimming. Grand, uh, grand apocalypse. Estamos recogiendo alimentos, agua, todo lo que encontramos porque de todas maneras se va a echar a perder. Nuestros vecinos mayores no tienen cómo bajar de las fincas, no tienen cómo venir hasta acá, no tienen cómo acceder, gente en sus casas pasando hambre, no tenemos agua, no tenemos luz.